prior to medical school, I was a, a nurse for close to 10 years, a registered nurse. Most of my background centers around the critical care setting. So when I started the gross anatomy course here and started working in the cadaver lab, I was amazed at how much I learned every single time I walked in here. With his knowledge of being a nurse and his knowledge now of being a medical student, he thought it'd be a really great idea for nursing students to somehow have experience uh, with cadavers. We do have a few chest tubes set up, a, a trach, a peg tube, central lines, and visualizing where they're actually going instead of seeing this in a textbook really does help with, with the process and what we're going to be doing in the future. It was kind of taking everything we had learned in class and learned in lectures and applying it to something we could actually see and see happening to a real patient. So when you see it in a textbook, you kind of think of a nerve and you think it's going to be microscopic. You don't actually think that this nerve is actually visible. It almost, it's ribbon-like, it's, it's there. It's a whole other experience when you get to sort of point out like, oh, this is connected to this, and this is, you know, when this is affected by something, th these other problems could happen. These interprofessional projects we do, I think are, are really helpful to work on communicating with each other in a clinical setting. Once we get out in the real world, it'll be very important for us to be able to communicate accurately and efficiently when discussing patient care. Not only their, their ability to care for the patient more holistically, but it also improves the entire ability of the healthcare team to function to look inside a body and see, actually see, the impact of lifestyle. It's gonna help them, not only at the bedside, but in their future careers, their vision, and how they take care of their patients.